we'll see who comes out on top with that one after our picks for uh, next week's show. We'll announce the winner uh, for that. I think we might combine. We we'll combine both shows. Yeah, we'll combine both shows. Mm-hmm. That's um, good. So uh, I have Riddle, Gargano, Undisputed Era, Bianca Belair, Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, you have Riddle as well, I believe. Uh, I have uh, I have Riddle, Gargano, I switched it over to War Raiders, Shayna Baszler, and Tommaso Ciampa. So you and I differ with uh, Shayna Baszler and War Raiders, and that might divide us, or that could possibly tie us. So we'll have to wait and see. So that's why we'll combine both. <laughs> combine uh, both, yes. But uh, before we get into the main roster recap, or the end and Royal Rumble predictions, just want to give out a quick shout out to uh, the network sponsor, and that is ExtremeWrestlingShirts.com, guys. They specialize in pro wrestling and MMA apparel with over 50,000 t-shirts, sweatshirts, costumes, DVDs, and pendants all in stock. And guess what? We give you a special promo code to use. At checkout, you're going to save 10%. Yeah, you can see. Look at that full Fletch ad if you're watching the YouTube video. Look at that full screen ad right there. 10% off your order using cold no holds and guess what one lucky fan a month will that uses the code will receive a free gift along with their order from extreme wrestling shirts.com guys so go check them out extreme wrestling shirts.com the official sponsor of the no holds spot network and i also want to give a quick shout out to the collar and elbow wrestling brand they have a special a line of clothing line guys you can see right there on the screen if you're watching on youtube you have such wrestlers like kevin nash eugene uh and Jake the Snake Roberts wearing this stuff. And guess what? We have a, a quote to use from our good friend uh, and friend of and fan of the podcast, uh, Jimmy. He gave us a code Jumbo to use on checkout to save 10% also on uh, that as well. So you can save 10% on Collar and Elbow, the wrestling brand, by using code Jumbo and uh, use, the code it, use the code on your checkout to save that extra 10% on your order. So... Uh, Sponsors out of the way. Let's get into it, Michael, and let's get uh let's get into that uh that main roster recap. We'll hit the bell there. And uh hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Right, yep. Yeah. Oh, let's man. go ahead and let's go ahead and get <laughs> oh, does it get this over with. Yikes. But, uh, if you guys if you guys have anything to do on Sunday, feel free to tune in. I hear there's a pay per view. It's kinda important. Something. It's know. like they they're labeling it like you if you win the match you like get a, a main event WrestleMania but they don't tell you exactly where exactly that main event is on the card doesn't mean you're gonna be the last match you're just in a main event and that could be the beginning of the card that could be the middle of the card that could be on the pre-show but you pre-show win, you win a main event spot for <laughs> WrestleMania so I don't know it's some sort of paper it's it's been around for a while I heard the first one was in Canada so I don't know. so. Which, uh, fun fact, it was in Canada. The first Royal Rumble match was in Hamilton, mm-hmm. Ontario, which is uh, 40 minutes from my house. So, uh, or Hacksaw you. Jim Duggan won that <laughs> Royal Rumble. All right. So, uh, before... The <laughs> Yay, Team Canada. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, before we get into it, we do want to just simply go over the main roster. A summary recap. So, Kyle, if you want to go first, is there anything that has happened on the way to World Rumble that you would like to discuss? Anything that's happened on the main roster since, unfortunately, people like Brian, he'll turn 21, and people who are doing, doing the retro show have fully given up on the main roster. So, mm-hmm. is there anything you want to specify? I mean, so. Brian's here in the chat. He heard us say main roster. His ears perked up here, and... <laughs> He's getting a little excited about this, but uh, I just want to say this: this fresh start has literally done nothing for the. Br- I don't even know what the fuck they they want to say. A fresh start, literally nothing has changed. Did I not say this weeks ago on the show that nothing was going to change? Guess what? I was right. Nothing change it's the same bullshit yeah smackdown's been improving it was improving before this fresh start even happened raw is still the same shitty fucking show it's always been i had someone text me michael give you i i i I will show you the text he said he's watched his first full raw he's a friend of mine in the last six months he hasn't watched raw in six months or is it three months or whatever he hasn't watched he decided to watch a full raw this week and he's like i was horribly disgusted he said he was (laughs) He could not believe what he was watching. I'm like, yeah, they call this a fresh start. And he couldn't he's he, he thought I was joking. I'm like, no, no, this is the fresh start. He's like, the only thing I thought was good on Raw this week was the Dean Ambrose segment, which I watched and it was actually not bad. But after the rest of Raw, fucking horrible. We had the stupid 
Brock Lesnar, Braun Strowman, and Finn Balor segment that was really poorly done. It was so, so boring and lackluster and it literally did nothing for Finn Balor at all for his match. We had a couple of useless plugs like Apollo Crews and Bobby Lashley in the ring posing off. I felt like I was watching Triple H and uh, Scott Steiner again. Doing the, uh, doing the what, work off? Or yeah. the, the, oh my gosh. Useless match with like the Singh brothers and Jinder Mahal and just like nothing stood out that or nothing has stood out on Raw. Actually, I lie. Uh, they've when I said when we used to say that you know rest in peace to anyone who gets called up to the main mm-hmm. roster and I was like no no fresh start blah 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 they're gonna be used. Look, look what happened to all the NXT call ups so far. Have they done anything? No. EC three nope. first match was on main event against Kurt fucking Hawkins. They made the heavy machinery look like absolute fools. Lacey Evans, I don't even know what show she's on. She keeps appearing on both shows and doing absolutely nothing. Hasn't even wrestled once yet. Nikki Cross is just, she's hiding in the back or something. She was in a match. She wasn't in a match. Like, I don't understand what brand they are on. What brand are they on? Oh, I mean, they're they're John Cena, Heath Slater, free agents. So... It's just stupid. Like, nothing's changed. There's no fresh start. There's no fresh matchups. There's nothing. It's literally the same bull crap with the people who have the power to change it running the house. And i just like to bring up, since you brought up the NXT call-ups, so, and this might seem kind of sad because this guy's one of your favorites. When they announced a fresh start on that episode, they had vintage promos for the return of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. It only appeared on that one episode where they said a fresh start. And ever since then, they have Nothing. never, ever mentioned Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn coming back. They never, ever re-aired the vintage promo of those two coming back. I just want to say for the record, this to sum up everything, and this is not me just ranting about it. Here's the thing. This is a guy who's watched wrestling for a long time. Mm-hmm. And I was one of the guys that when they introduced the SmackDown Top 10, I said it was not going to work. I got attacked by all of the marks out there saying, why don't you give them a chance? And what happened? Kyle, they got rid of it. Very quietly got rid of the SmackDown Top 10. It was never heard of again. When they introduced this, the problem was, honestly, the ratings were going down. It was the lowest in WWE history. It's never been that low before on Monday Night Raw. When they announced that Vince McMahon was coming back, people started tuning in. He vowed that things were going to be different, more opportunities. Uh, With Finn Balor, okay, I guess you can say kind of okay these nxc call-ups and the return of kevin owens and Sami Zayn. wwe is a business and their job is to make you tune in no matter what so if they're telling you this stuff is going to happen it's going to happen eventually but it doesn't have to happen soon wwe is tricking you guys into tuning in if you guys think the nxc call-ups are going to appear literally next week i don't think so Except if you guys think kevin us... owens and Sami Zayn are coming back i don't think so Just they're making these tag team out. Their ratings are the lowest they've ever been, and the reason they brought Vince McMahon and everything back and the reason why they scrapped everything for January is because of their ratings are so low and they're heading towards their Fox deal. They need to get out of that slump. So this is the time where you need to do it now or else your ratings are going to keep dipping and Fox is paying attention. You think they're going to want SmackDown anymore? No! As much as it's been doing good, I'll give SmackDown due credit. There's been some sick matchups. Rey Mysterio and Andre Cien almost have been tearing the house down over there. Like You guys are going to see Rey Mysterio versus uh, – um, by the way, get the name correctly. It's Rey Mysterio versus Andrade, period. And there's you another, guys are going to – There's another thing. You think there's a fresh start? They just fucking did another stupid shit that they've always done. People, get out of your freaking minds that you ever think there's going to be a fresh start in the WWE. It's never going to happen. As long as Vince McMahon is here, I don't care what they fucking promise with call-ups, with this stupid bullshit about having promos in the ring saying it was it's all up to you guys, you guys are the authority, and blah, blah, blah. Nothing is going to change. You, I'm not going to sit here and give them credit anymore or give them time. Nothing is going to change. As long as Vince McMahon is still in office, nothing will change. Absolutely zero. I give them no chance in hell. Pun intended. To, to give another example, and I actually had this on my notes, and we talked about it earlier, to show WWE's method of getting you guys to tune in. So, let, Kyle, let's go ahead and talk about it. So they made the announcement on Monday Night Raw that Cena had gotten injured. They said his participation in the Royal Rumble, which he announced is now in question. 
And now all of this talk is going around. If you believe, if you guys believe Dave Meltzer or anything, take his announcements with a whole bucket full of salt. Uh, he, Dave Meltzer is basically saying that John Cena, that that is not true. They're saying that John Cena is perfectly okay. Mm-hmm. And Dave Meltzer is saying that John Cena is simply filming a movie. They said that John Cena was never going to be in the World Rumble. And the only reason why John Cena announced that he was going to be in there was to drive ticket sales. It's sad because okay? I actually believe that. Because that I think is exactly what I think it was. Because you know why I believe that, Michael? I originally was in the three hundreds for the Royal Rumble. I paid about thirty five dollars a ticket for a mean no sell fails ticket. When at the time I bought those tickets in the one hundreds directly below us, I kid you not, four to six hundred dollars a ticket. So, Michael, you know what I did last week? I was curious. I went and looked at the tickets. You know how much those tickets were going for? The four to six hundred dollar tickets. Mean Phil moved down there for seventy bucks a ticket. Nice. They slashed the prices almost seventy five percent off the Royal Rumble because they weren't selling it. Because the product that they've been giving us is shit, and no one wants to go and watch it because they promised us a fresh start. Okay, maybe I'll buy a Royal Rumble ticket. They wait, nothing happens. They don't buy a Royal Rumble ticket. It's exactly what it is. And now look what they do. This is why I believe they melted it in this stance. They brought Cena in to get ticket sales up because they're doing so bad. So they they drove the ticket prices down now because even after with the announcement of John Cena, they're still doing bad. They don't get it. They'll never change. And all the people who be- sit there and believe it and, and they want to believe it time after time, how many times have they promised us change in the last couple of years and nothing's been fucking done about it? I can't sit here and believe it anymore. So... <laughs> To all you fools, I want to go out there and believe that the main roster is going to change. Just letting you know now. Don't get your hopes up because it will not happen. Mark my words. And if it does happen, I will eat my words. And I'll be the first one to say, fine, good job, but you did it a little too slow. I'm, still, I'm not going to give them full credit. I'm just going to say that, fine, I'll eat my words. You guys were right. It's happening. Change is here. But until then, they can get the big bird from me. It's not going to happen. All right. Anything else you want to say about the main roster before we get into the predictions? <laughs> mm-hmm. So, anyways, <laughs> uh, as for this week, uh, I do want to. I still want to give credit to where it's due. I mean, uh, uh, all Andrade and Cian Almas, because I'm an NXT I guy. I'm I, saying Andrade. Andrade. He was Cian Almas in NXT. I'm calling him Cian Almas. Him Mysterio's two out of three falls match was sick. And their their matches together have been unreal, so that's been good. Ali is getting a really big showcase. I'm loving that they're pushing this guy. The guy is extremely underrated in 205. I'm glad they moved him over. There's a lot of guys in 205 that shouldn't be. I mean, I'm getting to a point now, 205 Live, it shouldn't even be a show anymore. So there's a lot of guys that are not being utilized on there. Um, Anyways. uh, They they honestly... They should just get rid of 205 Live and just combine the roster. Because way back when they had the cruiserweights, it was just the cruiserweights put on were NXT. performing. Yeah. Like, them, give, perform give something on NXT to, to put. They, they, NXT, they, they sometimes put these random jobber matches that people with people that don't need a jobber match have an NXT cruiserweight match. Dub it the NXT cruiserweight title. It's that simple. Anyways, um, as for this week in the main roster, like, Raw was absolutely god awful, like trash. It was filled with stupid promos, stupid in-ring crap, terrible matches that made no sense, and some explicit content once again, even though it was a really Mordoro malfunction. I saw it all over Twitter. It's hard to not miss stuff all over Twitter. Apparently, Sasha Banks' tights got ripped down, and you know everyone shared wow. it. Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks, this must be the best week of corporate Cappy's life. I had you there. Anyways, um... Yeah, let's get into the predictions for the Royal Rumble, guys. Not spoil any more of your time. Let's get right in to the Royal Rumble. Ding, 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 ding. Let's do it. So, uh, guys, I'm going to be handling the uh, predictions for the Royal Rumble. So, Kyle, are you ready to get straight into this? There's a lot of matches. I just want to say, if Roman yes. Reigns comes at number 30, you're going to see another uh, Periscope video of me leaving the arena. I'm just saying. That's happening well, again. Well, well, it's it's guaranteed not to happen because our truth has number thirty. Which, no. by the way, the number thirty spot has always been so coveted. It's like who's going to come out as number thirty? But not only do we already know who it's going to be, but our truth. I only pray 
that something happens to him that he's not number three, like something in the back during the show, or he comes out and he gets attacked by someone. I just do not. Our truth is number 30 is the biggest slap in the face to all you fools who think there's a fresh start. <laughs> like, just saying. They they literally, WWE just literally gave you the finger while you believe in that all the junk that they spewed out of their ass on that promo. And might I just say, uh, this is kind of getting away uh, from it, but can they just please stop the mixed match challenge? Okay, I don't know how much more you got to promote your Facebook account, but dude, last year they did mixed match challenge for charity. This year it was for a number 30th spot in the World Rumble and a fake vacation, which our truth and Carmel ended up going to WWE headquarters. Awful. Awful. They shit it all over charity. They said, forget it. This time it's not even for charity. Screw everyone. We're just having it for the sake of promoting Facebook. But all right, yeah. let's go ahead and get into the main card. But first, every great, every great card has to have a piece of garbage pre-show. And once again, mm-hmm. the cruiserweights are in there. I do not remember any time when the cruiserweights Wait, are you sure? Were... I yes. swore I saw. I thought they replaced it with Nakamura and Rusev. No, it's two. Two matches in the pre-show. They both got in the kick up. Yeah. Paper was about four hours, I think. It could be five. No, I yeah, don't know. Longer. But... Yeah, but I, I'm shocked. <sighs> so. I'm not shocked. Why am I shocked? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get it over with the first pre show match. Guys, he went from winning the he went from winning the Royal Rumble last year to going straight into the pre show. We have Shinsuke Nakamura taking on Rusev for the United States Championship. I almost forgot this match even happened because the build is awful. I I like them both, but I could care less about this match. It's just I Seriously, forgot it was on. The I card. haven't watched any main roster television, and I honestly forgot that these two are having a match together. Mm-hmm. Like I I had no idea. Um, for me, I'm going to just get it over with. So since I'm so uninterested in this match, I'm going to have Rusev retaining because I don't want them to play hot potato with this belt. So I have Rusev retaining over Shinsuke Nakamura, uh, with Vince trying to promote giving the fans what they want. I have Rusev Day win again. It, it's, it's totally obvious that the push for Shinsuke Nakamura is over. Sadly, Shinsuke, just freaking wait out your contract and go to AEW, honestly, or go back to Japan. Mm-hmm. FYI, these these Japanese wrestlers have been making a lot more money in Japan than they are in the WWE. Reason why they do it is because WWE is big time, and you always mm-hmm. just want to go to WWE once. But other than that, dude, honestly, any Japanese talent, just simply, just honestly, just go back to Japan. Yeah. Uh, Kyle, right. how about you? As much as I want to say I care, I don't. <laughs> um, I'm just to take a shot in the dark pick and keep our picks different. I'm going to take Shinsuke Nakamura for the win here. <laughs> Not that I care or anything, but uh, fresh start means I'm hoping to give the fans what they want, and that's obviously a Nakamura win, I think, more than a Rusev win. But um, as much as it doesn't make sense, I'm just going to go with it because it's a pre-show. Who gives a fuck? Well, even if the title match happens, half the people won't even be in the arena yet. So uh, I'm picking uh, Shinsuke Nakamura to win the championship. Why not? Uh, very good. Sorry. Next, I, I want to into... care more, guys, but like honestly, you can't blame me for not caring. This guy didn't even appear on the go-home yeah. show. They could care less about this match, but other than that. Uh, moving on to the next pre-show match, guys. It's a daily tradition, so we got the Cruiserweight match here. We have hey. Buddy Murphy, who's been doing great amount of work here, mm-hmm. taking That's on... That guy, right there. That guy should be in the main, like, on Raw or SmackDown. Seriously, actually, SmackDown. Fuck Raw. Don't go to Raw. Go to SmackDown. <laughs> or NXT again, man. You could do a lot in NXT. Come back down to NXT. We need some more people down there. Yeah, he could uh, reunite with uh, nope. Blake in the Forgotten Sons. Yeah. Nope, stay singles. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 no. Forgotten Sons need to mm, they need to go retool their their package work here. Um, <laughs> they're getting forgotten pretty quickly. The crowd chanted, "We forgot you last week." We forgot. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh man. All right. Uh, so back into this match, Buddy Murphy defending his championship against. Uh, Fatal 4-Way, Akira Tozawa versus Hideo Tommy versus Kaliso. They had qualifying matches to be involved in this Fatal 4-Way. No wonder he wants to leave. Why is Mike Kanellis not in this freaking match? He's done nothing since they moved to 205 Live. Why'd you move him there, then, if you're not going to do anything with him? On paper, in- this match looks sick. Like, I, you look at the competitors in this match, they're all, like... Sick high flying wrestlers. You know they're gonna they're gonna put on a good match. It's just if the crowd appreciates or not, and it depends when they place it in the pre show. If it's like the first five forty five match, there's no one gonna be in the fucking ring. There's no one gonna be there. 
Like, you know, I, I looked at the area around this arena, Michael. It's very slim. Like, it's not a lot of room. And it's, you're going to pack, like, what is it, 50,000, 60,000 people in there. I mean, Jesus, Murphy, man. Like, it's literally going to look like, if you remember, it was the Miz and United States Championship match a couple of WrestleManias ago. If, like, it was the 545 match. Oh, uh, yeah. Barely yep. anybody there. It was at a Royal Rumble. I don't remember. It, it, there was nobody in the arena. It literally only had the 100 level like filled that's it like like the floor actually not the 100 the floor seats that's the only people that were in the arena like I, if it's going to be a match like that then it's going to be a shame that there's not going to be a lot of people there to appreciate it i hope maybe i can get in early enough too because i'd love to give these guys um you know i'd give these guys a standing ovation you know they're going to put on a really good match so on paper it looks good um i'm just going to jump quickly and pick a winner here uh buddy murphy to retain the championship <laughs> Why not? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I I totally agree with you because I'm looking at everyone else in this match. Kira Tazawa, he doesn't need to win. Maybe Hideo Tommy, maybe. But we know Vince doesn't like those Japanese wrestlers, so it's not going to be Kalisto. I can assure you of that. Uh, so, yeah, I have Buddy Murphy winning. Whatever, putting his finisher on someone in this match. You see how unenthused me and Kyle is for this prediction for the main roster? I understand. When you have when you have like matches like this that uh, don't make any sense, why isn't it? I'd rather see a Cedric Alexander or Buddy Murphy go at it again. To be honest, not mm-hmm. not just being biased. I'm just saying it straight up. That cool. This is different than what we usually see. But you put it in the pre-show where no one gives a fuck. So there you just go. saying, just saying. All right, uh, moving on. So once again, Kyle has Buddy Murphy. I have Buddy Murphy. We're moving on from into the f- SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. We had The Bar taking on the brand new tag team of the world's greatest tag team. Not Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas. Nope, 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 sorry. It is The Miz and Shane McMahon. Uh, why is this a tag team? What the fuck is this? Why is this fresh start? This is not a. F- why is this happening? Why do Vince or sorry? Why does Shane McMahon and The Miz deserve a title opportunity over a team like the Usos or a team like the New Day who are absolutely doing shit all right now? How do these two deserve a championship match over them, man? Why? Because they won one match together. That's it. That qualifies them to be a championship contending tag team. At a big pay per view like the Royal Rumble, what the fuck? Shane McMahon was his fresh start. Shane McMahon won the CM Punk World Cup, so he's the world's greatest, and he shares that with the Miz with that giant trophy. So I would care. I would have cared more about this match if it was a team like the Usos or someone else. Because it's Shane and the Miz, I'm sorry. I looked in my barrel. I cannot find a single fuck to give. Sorry, just I'm gonna be blunt about it. So, Michael, I'll let you go first. <laughs> You're gonna let me go first. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have the Miz and Shane McMahon winning only because I feel like they're gonna drop the titles at uh, Fast Lane and it's gonna start. It's so predictable that Miz and Shane are gonna face each other at WrestleMania. I mean, my gosh, WWE is so predictable. But there you it's go. The least of that, why? 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 Like, why? They always have to have Shane Miz McMahon and Shane at WrestleMania. Match. That's stupid. They always... They always have to have Shane McMahon in WrestleMania. That's court. dumb, too. Shane doesn't need to have a match at WrestleMania anymore. Like You, you want to talk about this. Fr- Again, I'm always bringing up this fresh start garbage. Shane in the match at WrestleMania is not a fresh start. That's shit that's happened in the past that we don't want to see anymore. I guarantee you, if you ask the majority audience, they would tell you they do not want to see Shane in the match anymore. He's done being that guy anymore. If he comes back, it's got to be against another legend. Not against a, I mean, Miz is not really a current superstar or a new superstar, but like, it's just something we don't want to see anymore. It's got to be, when you say fresh start and new matchups, it doesn't mean putting Shane and Miz together as a team or putting them against each other at WrestleMania. That's just dumb. With a team like The Bar, who's worked their asses off to be a great tag team, you know, I'm, I'm missing Cesaro as a singles guy, to be honest, man. I'm hoping that as soon as his contract's done. He gets the hell out of Dodge, man. He's getting wasted away in the WWE. He can do a lot more and better things in AEW, and I'm sure they will pay him a chunk of change to be over there. So um, if I'm going to quickly jump in, Michael, sorry to pick another winner here. I don't care. 
I'm not picking the Miz and Shane McMahon. It's not going to happen. <laughs> They're not winning the tag team championships. And if they do, I told you so. Nothing changed. So I'm picking the bar to win the tag team titles here, or to retain the tag team titles. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. All right, moving on. Uh, I'm just going to go in order of what I have in Wikipedia. It could possibly main event. We never know. But we have, and I'm not calling her that, but it's the baddest woman on the planet, uh, hyphen, Ronda Rousey taking on boss time is Sasha Banks uh, for the Raw's Women's Championship. Kyle, who do you got? And what do you think of this feud, honestly? it's See, this is different. Finally, I'm actually appreciating the person they picked here to have a title opportunity. It's just against the wrong person because Sasha Banks ain't going to ever beat Ronda Rousey. She's not winning the title here. They've made such hints on SmackDown and Raw that there's this horsewoman thing is going to happen. They ain't, it is, there's, she ain't winning the championship gold here. Not happening. I mean, if this was against like an Alexa Bliss or a Bailey, I could probably say Sasha Banks has a good chance to win a championship gold here at a big pay-per-view. It sucks. I'm loving that they give him the opportunity to her because she she well deserves it right now out of anyone on that Raw roster. So, But it, it's just a shame it's against Ronda Rousey, who's the golden girl right now, the girl they have the title around and promoting the shit out of with the title. It's going to be a good match. Sasha Banks ain't winning no. I'm sticking with Ronda Rousey to retain the championship. Whether it be one of her horsewomen, I'm guessing it's going to be one of her horsewomen friends at ringside that caused an interference and caused Sasha Banks the match, and this leads to this whole horsewoman versus horsewoman WrestleMania thing because, you know, this is the start to the road to WrestleMania. Why not have it start here? So mm-hmm. that's what I'm going with. And, uh, yeah, Ronda retaining that championship gold. Yeah. Um, I actually have Sasha going down with the win here. And I just want to say for the sake of it, uh, Ronda Rousey picking up – and it, this is all due to low ratings. Uh, Ronda Rousey picking up the title that soon was a huge mistake. It really it was. was. It, she's just as bad – not to sound harsh, she's just as bad as Brock Lesnar. She's holding that title hostage. Uh, what would have been great here because a lot of people think Ronda Rousey only signed a one-year contract, it would have been a lot better if Ronda Rousey went undefeated until WrestleMania and finally – it all culminated in her winning that title at WrestleMania. But she, she won that title like what? A couple of months after her debut? And now she's beating everyone? Mm-hmm. And I agree with you, Kyle. I mean, let me tell you something. Sasha Banks is no China. She's no Bianca Belair. I mean, she, Ronda Rousey is a tough yeah. chick. All right? This is not Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler. You know what I mean? Sasha Banks, I mean, she's... Uh, I might get some flack from Corporate Cappy, but what, what does she have an advantage of to take on Ronda Rousey. Like, other than the fact she has the bank statement. Like, what else does she have? And that's so not her fault. This goes it, back to it, how the way they've pushed her and how they made her this, this little smiley best friend with bangly kind of bullshit. And fucking terrible. She's the boss. How she was in NXT is how she should be on the main roster. The boss not giving a shit about anybody being her own self and beating and kicking ass because she can. Like, that kind of Sasha Banks. That's the Sasha Banks I miss. But, again, this is I only like this because of finally getting an opportunity to a girl who deserves a championship match. Mm-hmm. Cannot see her winning the title, though. They just, for promotional sake, they, they have to keep it around Ronda Rousey. They just have to. It's just I'm, I'm thinking in the minds of Vince McMahon here right now. They can't take the title off her. He doesn't fucking like Sasha Banks. Vince McMahon hates Sasha Banks. I don't can't see here putting the title around her. As much as he wants to promote this quote unquote fresh start, it's not happening. It's a well okay, so here's another reason why I have Sasha winning the title because I would rather have Ronda Rousey enter WrestleMania fighting for the title and possibly winning the title than her entering WrestleMania as the defending champion. Because we know she's not gonna lose. You know what I mean? Whether whether Ronda Rousey takes on Charlotte or whether she takes on Becky Lynch, if Ronda Rousey walks in with that title. There is no way Charlotte and no way Becky Lynch is going to win at WrestleMania. So I would rather have Ronda Rousey enter there as the challenger, and I feel like it's it's a lot better promotion for for her. Like I said, they should not have put that title on Ronda Rousey in the first place. Mm-hmm. So this was a bad mistake. Um, Sasha Banks is the right person for her to face because Lord knows I don't want her uh, Ronda Rousey facing Nia Jax again. Oh, and the build, might I say, absolutely awful. I hated the build. Sasha's the right person, but the build was so bad. If you guys mm-hmm. watched Raw like last week, the whole setup was they had Ronda Rousey and Sasha Banks teaming up. 
And then afterwards, they gave a promo where, where Ronda Rousey says, oh, you know, uh, I respect you and I want to face you. But, and it's going to be an honor to beat you at the World Rumble. And Sasha says, uh, you're going to beat me? And she goes, oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, but I am going to kick your ass. Wait, wait, wait. I, I didn't mean that, but I am going to make you tap out. Wait, wait, wait. I'm so stupid, and I don't care Paul he- Paul Heyman's helping me with my promos. God awful. Uh, God awful worst shit I've ever seen. There's some more like I saw you post. I didn't see it. Did she like not speak English or something? That she. Oh my like, gosh! So other <laughs> words like what happened there? She and and it, a lot of people. I think Dottie and Cuba Girl and Tiffany were talking about in the live chat. Her promo on Raw, it was like she either forgot her lines or she just it went on and on and on. Hmm. Like I don't Ross know where Roman. the heck this promo. Exactly. Well, a little bit better than Braun Strowman, <laughs> but but uh, it, at least she didn't blank out. But it was just mm-hmm. she's not ready. She's not ready. Giving her the title was a bad mistake. Um, and how Sasha Banks is going to win? I kind of brought it up the other week, uh, or the last time we had the show. I feel like Charlotte's going to interfere, help uh, Sasha Banks win, and yeah, and this will play into later on. I got another prediction about this so too. Both like different outcome or both different picks, but kind of the same outcome in a way just reverse reverse roles you picking charlotte and then i'm picking a, a horseman to help ronda win so mm. um interesting interesting so uh yeah good picks there let's move on all right let's move on another match that's highly anticipated we have oscar defending the smackdown women's championship against the man becky lynch kyle who do you got well can confirm she ain't a man can confirm that uh anyways to the match uh from what I've seen in the the high, because I don't watch the main roster a lot as I used to. I watched highlight videos on YouTube, kind of gets to be my fix, and you know, it only takes me like a half hour, right? Um, so from what I've seen, Oscar and, and Becky have been pretty intense in their feud, like beating the shit out of each other in this feud. Like a lot of face to face matches between these two girls. Um, uh, it's tough. Like it sucks. Oscar's promo work is absolutely garbage because she cannot speak a lick of English, and that's sad for a girl who, who's built such a reputation. It's just, it sucks that she can't speak a lick of English. I wish she could do some more promo work, but uh, they do what they can with her. Um, I think this is going to be a good match, though. Like match wise, putting the promo aside and everything else, match wise, this is going to be a really good match. Both these girls are really, really good wrestlers. Putting them together in a women's title match, really, really looking forward to that. Um, for an outcome, this is tough because I can see this going either way. I can see Becky winning the championship to have a boost in this horsewoman match, just to you know have a title belt. But then I can also see Asuka holding on to it, just because you know what. Mm, I feel like they haven't done ju- Asuka done her due diligence since making her end the streak at WrestleMania last year. Um, so I think now with this whole. I bring it up again. A fresh start. I think we're gonna hold on to the title with uh, Oscar, and I'm gonna stay with Oscar retaining the championship over Becky Lynch. Not sure how that's gonna go down because Re- Becky Lynch is riding the highest wave of momentum right now, and it's tough to, 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 to it's tough to see her losing this match. But I had this like I'm gonna go with my gut here. It's a gut feeling kind of thing. I'm picking Oscar in this one. Mm-hmm. So, um. For the record, if Becky Lynch comes out and helps Sasha Banks win the title from Ronda, we all know Ronda's coming out here and screwing Becky over. But uh, for that sake, I have Becky Lynch going over in this match. She's been on such a roll. Her new gimmick is the best mm-hmm. heel I work I've seen, man or woman, on yeah, the WWE currently. Like, like I said, her her momentum, like she's riding that wave high right now. The crowd's so behind her and. It's just so tough to dethrone that momentum, but I've seen him do it with a lot of superstars, aka the lady she's facing in this match. So I can, I wouldn't be shocked for them to do it to Becky. So I'm still gonna stick with Oscar, but let's see. Can you go on with your reasoning? Yeah. Becky. So, I, I, well, like I said, if 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 Becky is a part of screwing over Ronda Rousey, then Becky's losing for sure. But I just. If Asuka's streak was still intact, it would be a hard decision. But if Charlotte can defeat Asuka clean at WrestleMania, Becky should be able to get the job done clean as well. Uh, and she might actually, you know, beat her dirty too. So I just – I don't believe Vince has enough faith in Asuka, especially going toward WrestleMania. So it just sadly hey, – I just have Becky. there's been rumors that they don't have faith in Becky. There's been rumors about that. 
Well, you know how Vince doesn't like people to get over by themselves, <laughs> but uh, hey, I mean, everyone's a fan. John Cena's a fan. <laughs> Becky Lynch beat up John Cena a couple of weeks back, so yeah, everyone beat up John Cena. Hashtag beat up John Cena. So there we go. We got a split decision here, guys. We have uh, I have Becky Lynch. Uh, Kyle has Oscar. Let us know in the live chat what you guys got. But uh, we're gonna be moving on to another SmackDown uh, main championship. It is a rematch because you know how fresh start applies to everyone except this match. Uh, it is Daniel Bryan, the current WWE champion, taking on AJ Styles again. This should have been Mustafa Ali, but uh, yeah, Kyle, who do you got between Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles? This will set the bar high going straight into WrestleMania. Because they've been having Vince pay attention to this match as well on uh, SmackDown, I have a really big feeling this is going to be a really good match. Like I got a really big gut feeling that we're going to get a very match. This is, this is the match on the card that if NXT does amazing again like it always does and always surpasses the pay-per-view next, this is the match that Vince is going to use to try to get Royal Rumble to outbeat TakeOver and to get people talking about the Royal Rumble. Because these two together, and, and there's another match in the card that we'll get to that I think is also going to be that match as well to use to get this card boosted. I think AJ Styles and Dan Bryan are going to put on an instant classic. I think this is going to be uh, probably a early match of the year candidate for 2019. Um, as for championship here, um, I'm picking Daniel Bryan to retain. I can't see AJ Styles uh, winning the championship here only because of the r- rumors of what is to come at the WWE WrestleMania. And this is so typical of WWE, I can see them doing it uh, with the rumors of Daniel Bryan and John Cena going at it for the WWE title at WrestleMania. Mm. Because these two, <laughs> just to rekindle an old few, rinse and repeat. This is typical WWE. It's going to happen, Michael. I know it's a rumor, but I'm I'm sticking with it. Um, so but I'm John sti- Cena's injured. He can't be at WrestleMania. Quote, him, quote injured. Um, so <laughs> I'm picking uh, Cena. Or I'm picking uh, Daniel Bryan to retain the championship here in a heel-like fashion because he's the new Daniel Bryan. Um, I got a small prediction for the match, though. I I think there's going to be a point in the match, and I think it's either going to happen this match or later on, where Daniel Bryan's going to have, like, not really an epiphany mid-match, but, like, a thought, like, what am I doing? Like, maybe he, like, he tries to almost go do the yes like and try to go with the crowd, but then he kind of like shakes it off. Saying, oh, no, I'm, I'm a new Daniel Bryan. I'm not a yes guy anymore. So I think there's going to be a point. Some there's going to be something like that uh, going on in this match. But other than that, I'm picking Daniel Bryan to retain in probably what's going to be one of the matches of the night for sure to try to uh, compete with Takeover. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I agree with you. I'm actually going with Daniel Bryan as well. Uh, before I uh, before I get to how Daniel Bryan's going to win, I got a question for you, Kyle. So how many times AJ Styles is going to get kicked in the nuts? Once? Twice? Four times. Uh, I know, I know it's record. a thing here, and Vince <laughs> loves his nut shots. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say twice. At least twice. twice. Now, you know what? I'm going with once. I think it's only been once. Because I honestly think that this is going to be a match that he wants to use to outbeat TakeOver. So I think uh, I'm going to say once. Fair enough. All right. So uh, once again, I have Daniel Bryan winning, and I have an interesting take. Uh, it might happen, it may not, but I have Daniel Bryan beating AJ Styles with assistance from a heel, Brie Bella. She's coming down. She's oh. gonna help her man out. And yeah, if they do, if they do indeed want to do Daniel Bryan versus John Cena at WrestleMania, I think Brie Bella, knowing the fact, dude, they're gonna get dirty. They're gonna bring up how uh, John is no longer dating her sister. They're oh. really gonna brag on him. So I would really like to see it. Um, you know, if they do do John Cena versus Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania, uh, I did, I did like their match at SummerSlam. So. It, well, We'll see. We'll see. It's John Cena with the whole record, Ric Flair record versus Daniel Bryant. And, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if he uh, – the guy couldn't beat Finn Balor uh, the other week on Raw, so we'll see if he can uh, take a shot at Daniel Bryant. But there you go. We have both me and Kyle picking Daniel Bryant to go over. So uh, Next, we have our last match before we get into the Rumbles. Uh, we have the undefeated, for now, uh, Brock Lesnar. Uh, the Universal Champion versus Finn Balor. And so this is the other match fo- I said. This is the other match that he's going to use because Lesnar is a guy that loves working with the smaller people and loves making them look good and has 
has been has history of having good matches with smaller people, aka AJ Styles. So um, I'm thinking this is going to be another match he's going to also use to try to surpass Takeover. So I have high hopes for this match. Hmm. Uh, real fast uh, before we get into the predictions, Kyle. So originally this was booked as Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman because Braun Strowman had won his. His his stipulation at TLC, if he had beaten Baron Corbin, he would go on to face, once again, Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble. But due to a whole bunch of – there's a whole bunch of rumors on why he was taken out of this match. Everything from Vince McMahon's fresh mm. start, everything from the, the worst promo of the year yeah. from Braun Strowman going down. A lot of people say um, – at least the Braun Strowman supporters say that, oh, it's because his injury isn't fully healed. But guys, this guy literally lifted a limo. KFAB lifted a limo the other week. He was also involved in a full match with Finn Balor this week. His arm is okay. Okay. Um, there's also rumors saying that Vincent Mann does not want Braun Strowman to lose a lot. Well, then maybe you shouldn't have had him lose to Brock Lesnar <laughs> twice last year. So, duh. Uh, <laughs> duh. But uh, Kyle, what is your opinion? Was Finn Balor the way to go? I'm going to be uh, that guy for a second. You, we already know the real reason why Finn Balor is getting pushed at the last second here. There's a little thing, a little, little, maybe, maybe to the WWE's eyes, a little small company starting up on the other side there called uh, All Elite Wrestling. And is it a coincidence that Finn Balor is also best friends with a lot of people that are in the Elite and that WWE wants to start competing and try to act like they're not scared, even though they really just literally just flashed all their shit after pushing Finn Balor all of a sudden. You're telling me that Finn Balor all of a sudden, there's not, you're telling me that the reason for Finn Balor to get pushed all of a sudden after having the shittiest year of his career, to you're telling me the reason is not AEW? There's no reason. There is no other reason at all why he didn't get put, why he just got, all of a sudden got pushed is getting a Universal Championship match. It's because of AEW. They're trying to get fans to still keep their eyes on the product and pay no attention to AEW. They're trying to get their superstars that are literally the ones that are probably going to leave for AEW to stick around by giving them opportunities, a.k.a. the Revival already are getting more opportunity. Well, sort of, uh, but they're getting a little bit more TV time. But now Finn Balor, like, there's a reason why they're doing this. Don't be blinded, people. They're doing this because of AEW. They are scared shitless of this company taking off and being straight competition for their day. Even though it's not, it's supposed to be an alternative product, but you know the end game is to be a finally a competitor to WWE so people you know can actually have two different things to watch. And you know, they it's to compete for ratings and be another top company. That's the end goal for AEW. This is the reason why they're pushing Finn Balor, Mike. Don't get it twisted here. This is the only reason why. Makes no sense if you look at the year Finn Balor's had. This makes no sense all of a sudden why they would just, you know, see later Braun. Everyone's like, oh, because of his injury. No. No, 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 no. This has nothing to do with his injury here. This is not a late replacement. They're pushing Finn Balor for a reason, and that's because AEW. And do I agree with it? Sure. Finally, I think Finn Balor deserves a Universal Championship match. I think Finn Balor should be the one to beat Brock Lesnar here because Brock Lesnar as a Universal Champion is fucking terrible and is ruining that championship belt. So, you know what? I know it's very, very unlikely and the odds are stacked against Finn Balor. I'm going with Finn Balor here. I'm sticking with it and I'm picking Finn Balor to win the Universal Championship. But I don't see Brock Lesnar being taken out of the picture just yet. I think there's going to be obviously the ob- obligatory rematch that they say is gone because of the fresh start, but is always going to come back because it always does. Um, if it, and it's going to heat Brock Lesnar is going to get involved with something with Finn Balor at the next pay-per-view. And I can't see Finn Balor losing the title then, but I can see Brock Lesnar setting up his WrestleMania match, having to do something with the elimination chamber. Something's going to happen at Elimination Chamber that's going to set up Brock Lesnar's match, whether it's someone costing him the match or whatever, and that's going to set up Brock Lesnar's, like, whatever his WrestleMania match is going to be. Um, so I think we're finally going to finally see a WrestleMania where Brock Lesnar's not in the title picture since... <sighs> fuck, was it was it, uh, was it not 32? The, no, no, because that was the Intercontinental Championship against Dean Ambrose. I think it was 30 against Undertaker, the last WrestleMania he was in that he wasn't in a title picture. Was Brock Lesnar fighting? No. Wait. Last year was Goldberg. That, you know, no. Last year was Goldberg. Won, 
he won that match, so I don't think it was for the Intercontinental title. Oh, yeah. So, okay, right? it was 32. He's usually in one, though. If you look at from yeah. 30 to now, the two he weren't wasn't in, right? He's But he's been known to be in the, every title picture, even during the year. So, mm-hmm. anyways, a little botch on my part there. Um, I can, I'm can i going to go with Finn Balor here because I think if they're really serious about this fresh start and really want to be changing things around here and keeping the right people around and wanting to compete with AEW, you're going to have to put that title on Finn Balor or else you keep it on Brock Lesnar. What the fuck are you actually doing right now? Plain and simple. Told- I'm picking Finn Balor. And uh... on a side note, I really hope we see the demon, even though there's literally rumors saying that Finn Balor is not going to be the demon, but I think those are just rumors to get people to uh, start not get, you know, start paying attention and just thinking it's going to be regular Balor and he's going to surprise us with the demon Balor. I think we're getting demon Balor. That's why I picked it in this graphic. I think we're getting demon Balor. For sure. We can't have this type of match without demon Balor. That'd be good. Uh, for me, gosh, I want to agree with you saying Finn Balor's going to win because I just want to throw it out there for people who say it's not going to happen. If Eddie Guerrero can do it, Finn Balor can do it. Hashtag, I believe in Finn, but I hashtag do not believe in WWE. So for that sake, I have Brock Lesnar going over. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. I don't blame you. Like, really, I don't, it's... but like, I'm, 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 all, I'm putting my foot down here. If they really want to get me to think there's going to be a change, you put the title on Finn. If not, I'll be in the same mindset I was yesterday. I don't care, and it's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. It's um. We also have to think about the money, uh, not the money in the bank, uh, the Royal Rumble winners too. So it's like uh, whoever wins between Brock Lesnar and Finn Balor, whoever wins uh, between Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles, and whoever wins between uh, Ronda Rousey and Sasha Banks, uh, and Oscar versus Becky Lynch will set up the Rumble matches we get at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. So. For that, I'm just going to go with Brock Lesnar. WWE, they're trying to get their money's worth. Mm-hmm. Brock Lesnar doesn't care. Stop signing his blame contracts. Right? I don't blame you for picking him, but like, I just if they want to convince me that there's change, you pick him Finn Balor. Gotcha. All right, so we got a split decision down the middle. Uh, Kyle take, doing the fans pick. I mean, I want Finn Balor <laughs> to win. But me, I got to go with the WWE corporate pick here with Brock Lesnar retaining and uh yeah, let's go ahead and get into uh since it's main event of Royal Rumble last year, we'll go ahead and have the men's main event its prediction show. So let's get into it. The 2019, the return, the second annual women's Royal Rumble match. Yay. So yay. Uh several names already been announced. Uh, I'm not gonna name them all, but there is a lot of slots still open. I believe last time I so checked, there is about name seven the, slots. Don't name the actual women. Okay. Is there any su- legends slash surprise entrance name? Or so announced? as of right now, no legends have been announced for the Royal Rumble. It's been strictly just active uh, WWE okay, superstars. Okay, then name the people that have been announced then. Sorry. I just wanted to make sure there was any legends because I want to hear the legends first. <laughs> uh, oh, but I said I wasn't going to announce it. Oh. Wait, should I announce it? Would you like me to announce it? I can still announce it. Hold on. Nah. Hold on. No? no? Surprise. No. Okay, good, good. Because, by the way, desperation legends mode. <laughs> Uh, ca- calling desperation mode and WWE desperately trying to sell tickets. So they actually announced a whole bunch of people who were going to be in the Women's World Rumble on Twitter a couple of days ago. And I'm like, one oh. of the best things about the World Rumble is not knowing who's going to be in there and being surprised. That's why I, I love the 30th. Dumpster ep- fire. <laughs> it was. It was basically people who they've already promoted on TV. They didn't announce any legends going into the World Rumble or anything. It it was WWE once again tricking you guys into buying those tickets, tuning into their social media pages. It's them tricking the fans. But um, l- talking about surprise entrances that you do not want to know, Kyle, who would you like to see in there? We're talking about surprise entrances. Who would you surprise like to see in there? I think there are some that are kind of obvious. I feel like Trish and Lita are going to be back. Well, I see the list here of the 23. There's 23 out of 30 announced for this woman's one. Um, so I have Carmella, Amber Moon, Natalia, Bailey, Riot, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, Sarah Morgan, Sarah Morgan, Sarah Logan, Mandy Rose, <laughs> Sonya Deville, Alicia Fox, Zelina Vega, Naomi, Mickey James, Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, Charlotte, Tamina, Dana Brooke, Lana, Nia Jax, Nikki Cross, Alexa Bliss, and Lacey Evans. Um, so that leaves seven surprise slash legends. I can already tell you that it's going to be uh, Trish Stratus, 
It's going to be Lita. It's going to be Tori Wilson. It's uh, probably going to be Beth Phoenix, to be honest. Mm-hmm. It's going to be... In Phoenix? Come on. If you don't, yeah. I'm going to be very pissed. <laughs> uh, Kelly Kelly. Like, all the ones we saw at Evolution are probably going to be filling those seven spots. Let's not, about, we're not going to see anyone different. How about NXT? Because last year we had a lot. Oh, it's surprising. A lot, of, a lot of NXT is superstars. So Nikki uh, Cross is already in there. Lacey Levin is already in there. Again, these are the recent NXT call-ups. Current stars, I could see maybe uh, Eero Shirai or Kari Zane, even though they were in there last year. Uh, other than that, there's nobody really that sticks out. Like, I'm not going to see an Aaliyah in there. We're not going to see... Who? <laughs> like, we're not going to see... I'd say... Uh... Dakota Kai, if she wasn't injured, but she's injured, like I, you know what I mean. So I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be more legends than NXT call up. So seven legends that we saw at Evolution already. Um, uh, depending on, depending on who wins the title, could we possibly see the NXT Women's Champion uh, either Shayna Baszler or Bianca Belair? She pulls it off because last year both the NXT Champion and NXT Women's Champion Andrade mm-hmm. and I'm gonna say his name Andrade Cien Almas. And Ember Moon were both the current NXT champions, and they both appeared in the Rumble. Can we see it again? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, for a winner, though, hmm. this one's a tough one this year. Because it all. De- if I'm sticking with my route, because when I, p- I picked Asuka, and to pick a suitable opponent for Asuka for WrestleMania, um, I'm putting myself in Vince's shoes. I could already see a winner off the top of my head. If not, um, Ronda Rousey would need an opponent, but I think she's going to be holding on to that. I don't think the Raw Championship is going to be defended at WrestleMania. I think Ronda's going to be holding it uh, while this Horsewoman versus Horsewoman match happens. So uh, I'm going to... Uh, it sucks, and it's it's not... It's going to come down to Alexa Bliss and Carmella. Those are going to be the final two. Final two? Wow. Yeah. It'll be Alexa Bliss and Carmella. Uh, I can see it going either way. I can see a Carmella winning and uh, facing Asuka at WrestleMania. Not really a marquee match. I think they'd want to go more marquee. So I'm going to pick Alexa Bliss to be clear from uh, clear for coming back to in-ring competition and winning the Women's Royal Rumble match. Hmm. Oh, she suffered through it, so... <laughs> they, they, definitely... they love her, man. They love her on Raw, so I can see them doing this so so badly now that she's cleared to go. So Alexa Bliss to go ahead and challenge Asuka for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania. So inter-promotional matchup there. Mm-hmm. There you go. Uh, Tiffany says, uh, your thoughts on possibly Rhea Ripley or Tony Storm being in there. I could see it. Yeah, okay, so yeah, because they're both on NXT UK. That's right. I totally forgot about that brand. Um, yeah. I could see either Tony Storm or Rhea Ripley, 100%, 150%, or even hopefully my girl uh, uh, Tanara Conti, because she's nowhere to be found. So Where is she? I don't know. At home. <laughs> Where is she? Where's Kona Reeves? What happened? Kona Reed, the what finest. Happened? He'll boy? be in the Royal Rumble. Oh, the my It'll gosh. be a finest Royal Rumble. And I think someone brought it up in the live chat earlier. Someone was asking about Lars Sullivan. Guys, it's not looking too good. I brought it up. Kyle, you remember on the podcast a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if you got to reading that article. But Lars Sullivan, he is not doing so good on the main roster. Mm -hmm. I told you about how he was supposed to make his main roster debut when most of of the call-ups made their debut, whether in the background or in a match. But he ended up no showing. He suffers from panic attacks, and he's just saying he's not. He's basically saying that he's too afraid to perform against a huge crowd. Um, he That's was weird. scheduled as as far as Dave Meltzer says, he was scheduled to actually face John Cena at WrestleMania. But as of right now, that match is in jeopardy. Uh, Lars Sullivan, he's just not showing up, and he seems to me he just needs to be an NXT lifer if he's scared of large yeah. crowds. <laughs> just saying. Yeah, uh, but he's appeared at takeovers. Yeah, it's – I don't know. It's it's tough. It's a lot of pressure when Vince Spacey saying, you know what, Braun, you're out. Lars, you're going to be my guy. So if not him, you guys need to stop making Keith Lee jobber, have Keith Lee be your big guy uh, being the next push. But, uh, uh, yeah, back to what I was talking about. Um, so my pick for the World Rumble win, uh, Kyle has down Alexa Bliss. So this goes back to what I predicted earlier in the show. So I said that Ronda Rousey – was going to get screwed out of the title, and that Charlotte was going to help Sasha Banks win. 
Uh, I assume Bailey's going to be out there with him. So I have an idea. I predict that Ronda Rousey is going to beat the shit out of Bailey backstage, steal her number into the World Rumble, and I feel like the last two people in the ring, Kyle had Carmella and Alexa Bliss. I have Ronda Rousey coming out and being in the final two with uh, Charlotte. So, and I have Ronda Rousey beating Charlotte, and she is going to pick either Charlotte, if she can get the title back, or Becky Lynch. I want Becky Lynch because we have yet to see him face, so we'll mm. see. I have Ronda Rousey winning the Royal Rumble, and she's going to do what she always does, guys. She's going to point at the WrestleMania sign over and over and over again, and there you go. I have Ronda Rousey beating up Bailey, taking her number, and heading straight into the Royal Rumble and the win. So there you go. And, yeah, and let's go ahead and get into it. It's the last prediction of the night, Kyle. It is the men's 2019 men's Royal Rumble match. It was in the middle of the card last year. I feel like it's going to be maybe, unless Ronda Rousey is the is, is winning that match, I feel like it's going to main event the Royal Rumble. Uh, real fast, let's get it out of the way. Kyle, any surprise entrances into the men's Royal Rumble? Are we going to see Kevin Nash again? Well, they had this says here... It says they, they have 20 out of 30, but it's really 19 out of 30 because John Cena's oh, cause not John there Cena. anymore. Um, so we're going to get some people. I can see uh, the hur- – for Legends-wise, I can see the Hurricane. Don't you I, dare say Hurricane and Legends. Uh, I can see <laughs> – hmm, who was in it last year? Uh I don't know. Some random legend. Legends really go with shit. You know, they're not. They're just there. Uh, I really can't think of anything I'd love to see because you can't see I, a Hulk Hogan. Can't, can't I can see Ty Dillinger. I don't know why they do it at number at ten. Number again. ten again. Yeah, they're gonna do it again. He'll be at number ten. He's always gonna be the guy at the Rumble at number ten. You know, it'd be funny if he came out as number eleven <laughs> because <laughs> it's just them trolling them. So at number ten, let's just say uh, number ten. I don't know. Uh, Sunil Singh, and then number 11, yeah. it, it, it's Ty Dillinger. Oh. That'd be funny. Yeah, the extra people are going to be people that are not announced yet. No one gives a crap about. And then there'll be a couple legends. As for NXT people, I mean, Adam Cole. Was it Adam Cole was in the one last year? Mm-hmm. Um, EC3. EC3 has EC3. done nothing. So yeah, put him in the in world. It. As for like just straight NXT people that make an appearance, Velveteen Dream, I can see being a... Uh, a person in the Royal Rumble match, uh, maybe with his Siamese Vince on, uh, tights on, um, maybe so Velveteen Dream from NXT. Uh, other than that, Ricochet. Tiffany says Ricochet. Tiffany also says Shawn Michaels. I mean, <laughs> all depends on how Ricochet does in his match and what goes on with that. Um, other than that, I can't really think of anything on top. Maybe someone from the Undisputed Era, like a Roderick Strong. Um, and maybe some people from 205 Live or NXT UK, like Pete Dunn or Tyler Bate as well in the Royal Rumble. You know, mix of that. Um, as for winner, uh, so my gut and my gut was saying someone before I read all the rumors. And, you know, rumors are rumors. You take it with a grain of salt. So my gut originally went with Seth Rollins, and that was what the rumors are currently stating, that Seth Rollins is going to win the Royal Rumble. I would not have a problem with Seth Rollins winning the Royal Rumble. I think that's a pretty good pick. Well deserved guy that needs a little mo- a momentum boost right now, and what better momentum boost than the Royal Rumble match? Um, I'm looking at the participants, and uh, I really hope they don't do Randy Orton. I'd lose my mind. <laughs> Samoa Joe, maybe. Unless we're all getting trolled, and John Cena ends up winning the Royal Rumble, and that's how he faces mm. Daniel Bryan. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with that one. I'm picking Seth Rollins for my pick for the Royal Rumble. And he's going to go on and face uh, Finn Balor in a one-on-one match at WrestleMania for the title. Last year, either in that triple threat match. (laughs) Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We had some tactical difficulties, uh, which is with the ending of our show. Uh, So I'm just going to quickly wrap it up. Uh, Will Michael will tweet out his pick for the Royal Rumble winner and then we'll go over our picks and review in the uh, uh, NXT TakeOver Phoenix and Royal Rumble review show which will be uh, debuting sometime next week. We'll get it out to you guys uh, sometime in the midweek. Also we have our Slammies coming up. We're still trying to get together to do that and um, 
thank you guys for our, our for attending the show and listening to the show. If you are listening on iTunes, Situator, or Spreaker, or you're watching this on YouTube, we apologize for the technical issues right at the end here. So on behalf of myself and Michael Chow, we guys want to thank you for listening to episode number 13 of the uh, the next podcast. Up next, Phoenix, right here on the uh, no Holds Bar Network, your source for WWE, UK Wrestling, NXT, and all Elite Wrestling coverage. You guys want to uh, go check us out on Twitter, No Holds Bar Network. Follow the podcast, uh, the next podcast on Twitter, and follow myself at Rio Kyle Masters and my co-host at Michael Chow TV. We'll see you next week, guys, for the full review of NXT TakeOver Phoenix and Royal Rumble. Look out on the YouTube channel for my vlog. We'll either have it posted on the weekend or when I come back. So stay tuned, guys, and we'll see you next week. Oh, 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 oh,